Hello beautiful makeup lovers and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kerry if you don't know me and today I am going to be diving into the What's Up Beauty Dragon Eye Palette. They very kindly sent this to me in PR and I want to test it out for you guys today and see what looks we can come up with. I've already swatched this and it looks beautiful. Now this palette retails for £37 but like I say What's Up Beauty very kindly sent it to me in PR. The outer packaging looks gorgeous. The actual packaging of the palette looks gorgeous. And the colour story inside, mm. I think the only thing we can do at this point is go to the close ups and the swatches. I can take this anymore You say we're done but you still want more Baby what I need is you out the door This time I'm sure Yeah That you're a bad boy up to no good Trying to be a man but you're stuck in boyhood Baby you won't ever treat me the way you should So it's all before good I will never smile for you, smile for you, smile for you, smile for you Now there are multi-chromes and duo chromes in this palette, there are seven of them and as you will have seen they are so sparkly and gorgeous and apparently they are a new formula to bring out the shift and the sparkle a little bit more which I appreciate. I appreciate when brands don't just stay at one level, they're just always trying to improve. So I really appreciate that about this palette, I think it is very travel friendly, small, like I said the packaging is absolutely stunning. So like I say there are seven shimmers and five mattes so if you prefer a shimmer heavy palette it, this might be right up your street especially if you like more neutral leaning mattes because the mattes in here although we do have a lighter peachy shade and a purple they are on the more neutral wearable side I mean bright bright neon green is wearable to me but you know what I mean but having said that the mattes are on the neutral side I will say that with these different shimmers you can totally switch up the look depending on which one you go for and I just realized I have foundation lips we're just gonna have to live with that for now because I'm not quite sure what lip color I want to use. But enough waffling, let's zoom in and let's do a look with this palette. Now I am gonna be priming today with my Natasha Denona eyeshadow base and as always everything should be linked in the description box down below. If you're wondering where this top is from, it is from Sheen. And um, I have used a few new products today as well. I did use the new Fine Concealer. The jewelry's still out on that one so I will use it in an upcoming video and discuss my thoughts and show you what I think but today we just want to focus on Dragon Eye. Now I don't want to make this look too too complicated. I want the shimmers to be the focal point of this look and I'm not actually quite sure which one I'm going for yet. Um, I was looking at scales because it's kind of a green to a bluey purple and I think it looks beautiful so I was thinking that are we actually going to use that? Who knows? But the deepest shade in this palette, and I do usually like to start out with, my deepest matte is called Smoke and it is a deep brown. So I think that's what I'm going to start with in the outer corner. I'm going to start out by packing Smoke into the outer corner. Look at that pigment. Uh, oh wow. And I am going to do kind of a simple-ish look. Just more to test out this formula is like how it's looking can I use it the way I want to use it and like I say make one of the shimmers a really nice focal point to this look because they look so shifty and sparkly so I'm just packing this on the outer corner I'm not blending yet I'm literally just packing and checking my shape which is never even you know guys I've got to film my palette collection video soon send help. Look I don't usually get excited about a brown eyeshadow, I'm not gonna lie, but this is very pigmented giving me the depth I want and it's a gorgeous deep chocolatey colour and this is the kind of shape I'm going for. 
Also, has anyone been watching I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here? Because I haven't, but I've seen TikToks on little parts of it and I'm gutted I haven't watched it from the beginning. I might need to catch up and I need to know everybody's favourite. I'm really liking the looks of Fred and Sam at the moment as my top two favourites, so please do let me know. Then I think I want to go in with maybe a little bit of Powerful, which is the deep purple, and then we'll go into Spikes, which is the lighter sort of mauvey colour there. So going into Powerful first, and I just want to connect that to the brown. And I'm not packing this on as much as I did the deep brown because I do want to blend this out. I think the colour story and the packaging of this one is probably my favourite that What's Up Beauty have done so far, which is very exciting. And that purple is nice, but now I want to go into Spikes. Let me just clean off my brush which was the lighter mauvey colour and just kind of blend out that purple with it and make sure it is more toward the inner corner. Wow, it's windy outside today. I'm not sure if you're hearing any of that background noise, but it's windy out there. And I might use a little bit of that Spikes shade just on the very, very edges of that deep brown. So I have just wrapped those shades onto the lower lash line as well and now it's time to go in with the shimmers and do I still want to use scales? Oh, what a shade. Uh, what a shade. Do I want to use that though? Could use monster. Oh, monster would go perfectly with this or magic. Ma oh, okay. Maybe these two? So I've got magic first, which was the lighter of the two and keep that toward the inner part of the eye. I am running out of brushes, so don't judge me for my brush choice of this because, uh, yeah, this isn't the brush I would have reached for. Clean your brushes, Kerry, clean your brushes. Oh, that is so sparkly. Like, I really hope when you saw the swatches, you got to see just how sparkly and special these shades are. Look at that. <gasps> mm. Wow. This is perfect for Christmas parties or New Year, just with the amount of sparkle that is in these shimmers. And it's not actually like glittery, it's just wet looking and glisteny. Glisteny. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going into a monster next to it, just leading into that matte. Again, not, not the best brush for picking up, but oh, that is stunning as well. Okay, that's gonna be more or less it for the eyeshadow, guys. So I'm gonna jump off and do the finishing touches and then we'll come back and talk about the palette. Okay, guys, I really, really like the look. I think it looks really, really, I'm gonna say subtle for me because this is not gonna be subtle to a lot of people, but it's quite subtle looking to me, but it's still sparkly and dramatic in the outer corner with that deep brown and purple combo and I have to say I love it and I did pair it with a sparkly purple lip gloss. This is the Star Wars one from Colourpop and it's in Elite. I'm not even sure if you can get this anymore but like I say I will have everything linked down below apart from my half lashes because unfortunately I no longer support the brand but everything else will be down there. Please do let me know what you think to this look. Let's discuss this beautiful palette. Now, of course, I haven't used every shade. So this is just a first impressions and I'm gonna tell you what I feel after my first impressions, but this is not a final review because like I say, I haven't used every single shade. So when I have used this palette a bit more, I will come back to you and let you know my thoughts. But so far using it, I am in love. The shimmers picked up easily on the brush, which is quite important to me and to quite a lot of other people. It, it's not fun when it's a struggle. And I didn't use a goat's hair brush. I actually didn't use the best choice of brush because I need to clean them but it's still picked up really well and applied really nicely. The shimmers are so sparkly and reflective and I can definitely see the shift in them. It's difficult to show on camera, hopefully you saw it in the swatches but there's definitely shifts in these duochromes and multichromes but the sparkle, the intensity of just how pretty and sparkly they are, beautiful. And using this deep brown 
I love it when the deepest shade in a palette is as deep as this or deeper and it is pigmented when going on but still easy to blend out which this definitely was. That is a fantastic brown. Wow, I can't believe I just said that. And then the purples went on beautifully. Everything matte wise blended beautifully. Still pigmented, easy to work with. I feel like this matte formula is very beginner friendly, but also you can still create some very dramatic bold looks. But I'd say the blending is fantastic on those soft buttery mattes. They are lovely. I don't usually gravitate towards palettes that have got more shimmers than mattes, but having said that, because this one has the mattes that are more on the neutral leaning side for me, and then I can change it up with a shimmer each time, and it's very travel friendly, I feel like it's easy to just grab this and do a look that's wearable every day. Again, doing the little quotation marks because it's all wearable. I'm excited to use the other shades in this palette. I think it does correspond beautifully, especially this green with the packaging for Dragon Eye. I absolutely love this theming, packaging and aesthetic. I think, like I said, this is my favourite one that What's Up Beauty have come out with so far. And I am not disappointed with anything that I tried today. The formula is beautiful. I love indie brands. I love it when they change up their formulas. They try and improve things. When they've got amazing concepts and <laughs> the packaging is this flipping gorgeous. So there's my first impressions on the What's Up Beauty Dragon Eye palette. Of course, like I say, I will come back to you. I will try and do some more looks for you over on Instagram, which I will link down below in the description box with my other socials, as well as my YouTube membership and my Patreon group, just in case you want to join in the fun. And hopefully guys, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.